Jason Malia back here again, and today we're going to be talking about Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 3. Now, the entire season is on Netflix, so you're able to watch all 10 episodes, and this time around, the gang are trying to get out of the island once again. They tried so many times, but they find out that Dr. Wu has created a Scorpius Rex, another hybrid, and they have try to avoid it as many times as they can while also trying to get the boat that they found from the villains from the last film ready to set sail and they're able to head off to the mainland so there are a few surprises in this season um we get to explore more of kenji's private life in the island w regarding his father we're able to Learn more about some new dinosaurs like Aranosaurus or the Doxosaurus, uh, whatever those are called. I don't know. Those are like newer dinosaurs to me. Um, some of the old dinosaurs are back, like the Luminescent Parasaurolophuses and the Scorpius Rex. I got to say, the Scorpius Rex actually surprised me. I was worried that it was going to be a bigger version of the Indoraptor. And while it does have a few similarities to it, there are a few things in it to make it different enough to stand out. And its agile look and creepy Frankenstein nature just makes it one of the most creepier dinosaurs in the Jurassic Park franchise. And I really enjoy its conclusion. And in my opinion, it does like rival the Indoraptor a little bit. I mean, I kind of like the Indoraptor a little bit more in terms of actual design look. And it does have some of the same features, but the Scorpius Rex is still a welcome addition to the franchise. But please, God, stop with these hybrids. I'm getting tired, and it seems like this is going to be the last. But on a story level, I had to say this is probably my least favorite of the season because each episode always feels like it begins and ends the same way. Like they are about to leave and then something goes wrong and about to leave and something goes wrong again. And each episode near the end feels like the final episode. Now, it did work in some cases in the beginning of the show, but after a while, it starts to get tiresome and the end, actual ending does feel not as earned because it ended so many times like that before so in my opinion they could have tightened up the script a little bit to make it seem not so final with each later episode i think this script would have been great but still the kids have great dynamic with one another the actual Action sequences are fantastic. The animation actually got a little better. And it still maintains some of the spirit that the first two seasons had with its characters and story. And it did conclude the Isla Nublar plot line completely. We get to find out how long they've been on the island. And we get to actually see how it bridges towards... Fallen Kingdom. This is the season that finally made that connection and it actually felt very natural, very much earned, and it did not completely um, uh, destroy the canon of, of some things in the franchise. While well, probably jumped the shark a few times they weren't very major i still think you could watch this season with the rest of the franchise and it would feel pretty natural and you would not question some choices so as for that this is great and also this is going to be where i'm going to talk about spoilers a little bit so if you do not want to know anything about spoilers for this season i would say um, leave this part of the video and then wa watch the season and then come back. So near the end, after they kill the Scorpius Rexes and are later about to leave, they come across Dr. Wu, who is about to 
take some his computer full of all of his research on the island, and the kids need to stop him before he gets a research to the mainland. Now, we obviously know Dr. Wu is going to be okay since he's re returned in Fallen Kingdom, but what I really want to talk about is the last shot of the season, and that is of a dinosaur being trapped in the boat in which the kids are on. Now, I am convinced that it is a Scorpius Rex. It sounded like a Scorpius Rex. I mean, this thing in the next movie, I don't know. They didn't say anything about it. It could be kept as a surprise. Um, it could be a different dinosaur for all I know. But it seems to uh, connect with Fallen Kingdom's ending as with dinosaurs going to the mainland. Or maybe the next season is going to be of the kids in a with a dinosaur on a boat the entire season. I think that will be a little boring. I don't know. I don't know where they're going to do with that. But that final shot of the season just leaves a lot of questions. But overall, I really enjoyed this season. And I think a lot of younger viewers who really enjoy the last two seasons will enjoy this just as much. And I'm going to give season three of Camp Cretaceous a B+. Plus. Thank you guys so much for watching. People like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.